Hey friends, welcome back to Breedhead Homestead. I'm in my painting clothes as usual. Am I ever in anything else? No. <laughs> So that only must mean one thing, it means I'm working on the laundry room. I've made some progress in here. I wanted to show you guys where I'm at, talk about the design I have picked out. I have been going back and forth a lot on how I want this space to look and kind of my thoughts and design and everything and functionality, the biggest one, right? So I've been going back and forth with a lot of different thoughts and options and I think I finally have rounded out my plan. So let me show you guys what I'm thinking and where we're at so far. I have painted this door blue. I will show you guys a clip of that. I actually don't like it. <laughs> I thought I was really gonna love this color, but I I just do not like it in here. I, I don't know, it's a really beautiful color, but I just want something a little bit deeper, so I'm gonna work on getting that painted today. Um, I am going to add some trim to this door as well. I'll show you guys everything. I have also been working on getting these, the face frames painted in here and the cabinets painted. So I've been working on those. I've been hard at work, okay? Still have a lot, long ways to go. This section I have been thinking a lot about also. Um, I tried, if you guys can see down here, I tried to do a little DIY stencil but it did not work out because my walls are textured. So let me show you, this one I was wiping off, but my first attempt, super bad. This one, a little bit better, don't like this situation. A little bit better on this one, but still just not great. Um, so I kind of gave up on that. What I was trying to replicate was this decal so these decals these are from urban walls they're really cute this is just a sample the actual ones are like much much bigger than this but you can order a sample and i just wanted to order one and see if it would even stick to my walls because as you can see they are super super textured um so good news it sticks so we're i ordered a set of them look at my hands guys sorry um i ordered a set of these so I'm waiting on these to come in and what I'm doing and what I'm kind of hoping that it will look like. So like I said, they're pretty big. So I am going to do them on this full wall here. I'm gonna paint this wall white and have those decals on there. So I think it will kind of look like, a. I think it's gonna look like wallpaper. That's kind of how it looks online. So without having to do wallpaper, and skim coat my walls and then stencil. I think I'm gonna go with these decals. Another thing that has changed, I picked these up yesterday. I think they're here to stay. They're pretty cute. I got these from at home. They do say laundry on the front. They're pretty cute. Um, and so I'm thinking what I'm going to do is have a countertop that's gonna come out and it's gonna be held. I'm gonna put a corbel here. Um, I don't know if I'm gonna make one or buy one or what I'm gonna do yet, but I think kind of a floating countertop will really be able to keep this space open without feeling super crowded. I also am probably gonna do two floating shelves um, above that there, and then maybe, just maybe, I'll put a light fixture above there as well. So as of now, that's a plan. Of course, we have lots of work to do, so let's get started. Okay, so the door has been repainted. Much darker, love it. I got this wall painted white as you guys saw, so I am loving this. This was definitely more the color scheme I was going for in here, so I'm excited. I need to go ahead and get my trim on this door, get my trim around the door, then I'm gonna do my decals, and then I'm going to get the baseboards done in here. So I've got a, quite the list of things to do this weekend. So let's go ahead and get started. I am excited to not look at this anymore. My goodness, it's driving me crazy. So let's, let's get to it.
in. I've been waiting all day and uh, it just arrived. So let me go get it. I'm gonna show you guys what it is. Ah, here it is. Yes, let's get it inside. Let's check it out. What could it be? Dee, 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 dee. So I have been waiting for this. I hope that I like these as much as I like them online. This is the decals for the laundry room. So they were supposed to be a lot bigger than the little sample I ordered, so I've just been anxious to get them in the mail to see how big they really are. So let's take a look. I think they're gonna be really cool. Oh my gosh. Ah, look at them. Oh, they're so cool. They are gonna be awesome. Look how big. Yes, that is exactly what I wanted. Okay, so it looks like they come. Let's see if I can then try to. Ooh, okay. So it comes in. Oh, it's like. Oh! So I think you get 35 decals. Look, so this is how they come and then you just cut them out and then just place them wherever you want them to go So I kind of want mine to be like a little bit spread out. I think I don't know. We'll see when we, we'll see when we get it in there how it ends up looking but um, It comes with two sheets They come like this. I'm just gonna cut them out. We're gonna place them on the wall and we're gonna get this party started I'm so excited I was talking with Mark about the shelves I want to do in the laundry room and he had a really wonderful idea. So I have two shelves, one that my great grandpa made and another one that my grandpa made. Let me show you them, they are so cute. My grandma gave them to me not too long ago and I've been meaning to refinish them and kind of find a spot for them in our house. I just knew I love them and I wanted to use them somewhere and now they finally have a home. So I'm really excited. I'm gonna put them in the laundry room. So I think what I'm gonna do is paint the sides of these. Right now this is like a navy blue. I'm gonna paint it black. I'm gonna paint the other one or the, the other one black too, but it's just oddly enough that they are like almost the same exact size and they're just slightly different in style, which I think is really super cute actually. Both my grandpas, my great grandpa was a woodworker. My grandpa was a woodworker. Both of them super, super talented. They've made my family all kinds of different treasures for their homes. Um, and I have I actually have quite a few around our house too, which is really special. But um, it's really neat because, you know, I've kind of taken on a little bit of a hobby of, you know, woodworking. I wouldn't say I'm, you know, woodworker. I haven't earned that title. <laughs> I certainly enjoy making projects out of wood, you know, and stuff like that. So. It's um, unfortunate that both of them have already passed and I uh, would have loved, you know, now to have the opportunity to talk to them and, and get their advice on a lot of different things. Um, I do feel them in spirit a lot, especially my grandpa. Um, he was just the coolest and I spent so much time <laughs> as a kid in his garage. Um, I basically feel like you know, I almost grew up in that garage a little bit because he'd be out there working on stuff, building whatever, and I'd be out there playing with all the sawdust. I used to take my Grammy's um, muffin pans and I would fill them with sawdust and water and I'd go in their little camper and put them in the oven and pretend I was cooking them and I'd be <laughs> doing all kinds of stuff with all the sawdust and I would be drawing all over his wood, you know, marking it all up and just hanging outside with him and spending time with him. So I have a lot of a lot of really sweet memories as a kid doing that with him and spending garage time with him, which as I've gotten older now, I can certainly appreciate the value of garage time. I love being out in the garage. So I don't know, it's just, it must be in my blood or something, but I was looking at this shelf and um, it's really sweet. It actually, he used to sign everything. Let me see if it will get in focus for you guys, but it says FMK um, 12 of 2000. So 
This little shelf is um, 21 years old and I love that he put that on there. I'm gonna have to start doing that with my projects, just, just signing them somewhere with the year because that is just a really cool thing to be able to look back on and um, know when he made this. So I think it's really special. I think that these are gonna be perfect in the laundry room, especially if I ever wanted to, you know, hang a shirt from this or something to let it dry or whatever. I think these are gonna be perfect in there. I'm really excited to give them a new life and just what a special thing that both of them, you know, made these. I have a little bit of work to do before I can get started on those, but just wanted to pop in and show you guys what I have here. Good morning, it is the next day. I got a lot done last night. I actually tackled so much yesterday. It's kind of crazy how much I got done, but I still have a lot to do today. A lot of fun stuff I've been looking forward to. Let me show you guys where I left off with the laundry room last night, show you how the decals are looking, how everything is looking. Let's take a look. So here's where we're at this morning. Okay, I am kind of obsessed with this door. Like, I mean, honestly, is this the same door? Like, I cannot believe it. I think out of all the projects I have ever done, this is my favorite. I know it's crazy, and that sounds crazy, but it is so cute. I am so obsessed. I love this color. This is like my favorite, favorite color on the planet, and um, has been for quite a few years now. I'm just excited to have this color in our house again. Our last house had all of our doors, our trim, on the exterior of the house, everything was painted just a few shades darker than this and I just love it. So here's how the decals are looking. Definitely, uh, I don't think it's made for textured walls and it does say it's not recommended for textured walls but they're on there. They, you know, kind of are a little bit hard to apply because I have textured walls but they're so cute and I'm making it happen. Doesn't it kind of look like wallpaper? Kind of obsessed. This took me like 30 minutes. <laughs> Maybe even longer. So I, uh, you know, got that far last night. So I still have this much to do today. So then I'm gonna build my little countertop. And I don't know what I'm thinking. You know, I was gonna do two shelves here. Now I'm kind of thinking maybe I just want one with maybe like a light. I'm not sure yet, but um, we'll figure it out. We'll figure it out as we go. So I'm hoping today that I can get the rest of these done, the countertop done, refinish my little shelf, we'll figure it out. I got the baseboards done last night in here. I got this door trimmed out. Anyway, this is where we're at. I am so obsessed. Okay, I'm just gonna join these. I'm sorry if you can hear my neighbor doing um, yard work over there. <laughs> I'm just gonna join these together using my um, Craig jig, and I think, and this is so easy. This is actually, anytime I get to use this little thing, I absolutely love it and I get excited about it. So I'm gonna put pocket holes, um, just a few, kind of down, down, actually just two of these boards. How easy is that? So I'm just gonna do pocket holes down two of these boards, Join them all together, do one hole, pocket holes on the ends here. And then once I get this together, I will measure. And then I'll cut my little end pieces and uh, we're gonna call it a day. I'll get it whitewashed and get it up. It's gonna be cute. saw me talking about putting two shelves in the laundry room right above where I'm putting the little countertop. I have since changed my mind. I think I'm just gonna go with one shelf and then put a light above it. Once I got all the decals done in there, I feel like it's gonna be just a little bit too much on that wall, so I just wanted to simplify it a bit. So I'm gonna go with this shelf that my great grandpa made. I think this is just so super sweet and I love that it has this bar here so that I could you know, hang a shirt up to dry or something like that if I ever needed to. But I'm gonna go ahead and paint. I was also trying to figure out, okay, what color do I wanna paint this? Do I want it to be 
black? Do I want it to be white? Do I want it to be gray? I was really trying to figure that out. So I did decide I'm just gonna go with white because I did the Corbels black. So I did pick out a black light. I'll show you guys that here in just a few minutes. But I think with the white, it's just gonna offset everything a little bit and um, kind of tie it all together. We are so close to the finish line and I am just loving the way it's coming together. So let's work on this and um, I will show you guys in just a few the finished result. Probably unhealthy obsession. Let me just stop rambling and let's just get right to it so I can show you guys how cute it is in here. We're probably gonna end up living in there. You I know, so I'm gonna move cheese. in. I'm moving in over here. You can stay <laughs> over there, I'll move in over there. <laughs> <laughs> so, come on in to our very new laundry room. Um, gosh, it was a lot of fun doing up this space. So I guess we'll start with the door. How cute is this door? This is probably one of my most favorite and most easiest DIYs I have ever done. And that says a lot, because I've done quite a few DIYs, but this is definitely, I think it's probably top of the list because the transformation is just insane. What a difference just adding some detail, adding some trim detail made. I mean, talk about just easy and super, super cute. I feel like it makes the door look really like a, a higher end door so love that um of course the decals how super cute are these these are from urban walls these are just decals they are just a peel and stick situation um so they're not meant for textured walls but did i do them on textured walls you betcha did i make it happen you betcha <laughs> <laughs> they're really cute i am really happy with the way that they turned out in here you guys saw me talk about this really sweet shelf that my great grandpa made and i love the way that it came out in here we did put this light in here as well and talk about a super easy diy hack so we had no electrical on this wall that we well wanted, we, wanted to, we didn't want to splice we, yeah that we wanted to tap into <laughs> you know um so what we did was we put a little puck light in there and that puck light is on a little remote and so i can just turn the light on and off this way a lot of puck lights are uh you know like you have to press them and i'm like well that's a little too high for me to get to <laughs> so i'm gonna need something that has a remote so that is what i have here these are actually coming like a pack of six from lowe's and i put the rest of them in here quite some time ago so that way i have some lighting in here because these shelves are like super super deep in here so um yeah so everything works off of this one same little little um remote so let me show you guys a little puck light situation that we have here. <laughs> there are lots of different ways to do this, but Mark and I did it the quick way, what we had on hand way. So we um, took an old light bulb that was already burned out and we broke it. I should say Mark broke it carefully with gloves on, with a hammer in a bucket, very safe, okay? And um, he broke it 
and then we construction adhesive it to the puck light and so that way it screws up in there nicely and these puck lights too they um, just come off and they're battery operated so that way if this is still up in there we can um, just pull this part off of the you know we could pull this part out and change out the batteries if we needed to. Uh, this sweet little countertop that I made in here, I chose to go with a floating countertop, you know, countertop shelf, whatever you want to call it. I chose to go with that just because I felt like it would make this space still feel really open. And then I could also just pull these out and vacuum really easy. Um, so, you know, I also felt like with having this here, if I were to just, I don't know, make this space any more narrow, it would just feel really crowded in here. So um, I love the way that this is a sweet little DIY, super easy. It just adds a little bit of functionality to the space as well. But these little corbels, how cute are these? These were yeah. super easy to to make as well. So Out if of you're, scrap wood of all things. Yeah, this was literally like a scrap wood project. <laughs> yeah, so um, if you're looking for a little easy DIY to get yourself kind of started into DIY, I would highly recommend doing this because this was pretty darn easy um, and like fun. I really could make like probably like 50 more of these. Like Maybe. If I could make one a day, that would be just like the best thing. And then of course you guys saw in another video, maybe you guys caught this, I did a full video on how to paint cabinets. And so here is the made over cabinets. I'll put a little picture here of what the cabinets used to look like in this space. I cannot believe that they are the same cabinets and Talk about just totally brightening up the space with going white and also just adding some new hardware. You know, it totally modernized the doors. And of course, I had to farmhouse it up, of course. <laughs> so I added that trim detail in there. And of course, painted these ones white as well. Um, I chose not to go with the X's on this door. I just felt like it would be a little bit too much. And so I'm happy with that decision. I think it looks um, really nice. I feel like this is a really good extension of the powder bath that we did. If you guys didn't, maybe if you're new here and you didn't catch that video, we just remodeled this little powder bath situation back here. So check that video out if you want details on that. But I feel like this is just a nice extension into this space now. I wanna say thanks so much for being here, you guys. This was a really fun project and I'm so glad that we got to share it with you guys. So let us know if you have any questions, I'm happy to answer and I'd love to always hear from you guys. So we have a lot more to share, so stay tuned, stick around and we'll catch you guys really soon, bye.